Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Derek here. We are back reacting to another episode of Lucifer. This is season five, episode 10. It is called Bloody Celestial Karaoke Jam. Uh, so what happened last time on Lucifer? Last time, you know, God came back. We had a nice family dinner. Everything went great. Everyone was happy and getting along. No, it's not what happened. Um, <laughs> It was dysfunctional, to say the least. And then, uh, you know, there was a, a murder at a at a mini golf theme park course thing. Um, and then um, at the end of the episode, Lucifer told Chloe that he does not believe he's capable of love and therefore will never be able to love her. Um, and then the episode ended. So, presumably, um, things can only go up from here. <laughs> <laughs> but things could actually probably get worse. Um, before we jump into the episode, please consider leaving a like on the video and please consider subscribing. That means a lot to me. If you are interested in full length reactions, head down to my Patreon. It is linked in the description. There you can also become a super supporter and get featured in my videos like this guy. Um, but other than that, let's jump into this episode. Singing about Chloe, who's now depressed. What a wicked game to play. Are these original songs, or is this just a song that I don't recognize? And it's like a real song. So he says he's incapable of loving her, but if like after an event like that, he's, <laughs> you know, playing this like heartbreaking love song and mourning over the loss of this relationship, it sounds like he's already in love. I forgot what a wonderful voice you were blessed with. Shut up, God. Thanks to you. <laughs> I decided to stay a while. <laughs> Why? So you and Michael can wreak more havoc. Oh no, he's at Michael home. Actually, Michael went home. Hmm? Do I need a reason to visit my son? Uh, no, uh, well, Jesus. when you haven't in a long time, it's suspicious. <laughs> Samuel. No, no. He doesn't like being called that. No. In the short time you've been here, you managed to screw up my one chance of happiness, so please just stay away from me! Detective, you said it yourself. I'm not sure that we are a normal couple, or that this is an ordinary problem, as much as no. that. No. No what? She's I not. What you she's were not saying. gonna. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe the answer is no. There's no way you're incapable of love. No one is incapable of love. No one. She's committed to you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love that she's just like, no. Oh, sure. I refuse. Sure. Everyone thought he died of a heart attack, but Ella figured out he was murdered. So it was yeah, one of the coaches on the teams. What is his whistle with poison? That blows. He hadn't used his whistle until the fourth quarter of typical refs. Come on. Miss Lopez, you all right? Does he not recognize the musical stuff that he broke into earlier? Uh, is happening. <laughs> He's so confused. So the musical elements of the episode are it's a little bit fourth wall breaking. Oh well he joined in. Imagine being the family of this man. Come to talk to the police about your dead family member and they're just like dancing on his corpse. 
<laughs> with singing this song too. Be horrified. Oh, nope. and he's back to life. A resurrection. It's a miracle. Oh, they died. Well, temporary resurrection is still pretty impressive. What does this song do for the story, though? Is it just a song for a song's sake? I mean, yeah, the guy's dead, but... What just happened? I already told you. Poison whistle. Okay, so none of them know what's going on? Was God inspired by his music <laughs> at the beginning of the episode? Well, the singing and dancing was a bit of a giveaway. Oh, but fun, right? Well, I mean... <laughs> Understood. Now on, you won't even know I'm here. Except for more singing and dancing. He's got sandals on. It's, um... It's my dad. Your dad? As in, As God. in God. Yes, yes, and I know it's probably very overwhelming. She wants to go meet your dad. She's gonna be mad at him. Hi. Or Hi. <laughs> impressed by him. God, I, I'm Chloe. I'm guessing you already know that, but respectfully, Respectfully. Sir, you are a terrible father. I am sure you have got the him. Earth, you know, the sun, the universe, whatever. But I know what it's like to be a working parent. And my two cents, again, respectfully. Respectfully. Sorry, you screwed up. You know, your, your kid acts up and you kick them out of the house and go radio silent for thousands of years. I, that's just me. Respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> you know, I... I like think that's to probably talk. enough for our first meet and greet. We don't want anyone to get spited. <laughs> just lightning bolt. I'm sorry to say that our son is just a just a normal human baby. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, but he doesn't like that. He wants him to be special. Yay. Okay, wait. You're disappointed because you think angels are better than humans. Oh yeah, 100% they are. Yes, no doubt. Absolutely no doubt. <laughs> she's upset, but she's like, also, that was kind of hot. <laughs> I mean, no offense, Linda, but we are better. Literally. Um, offense taken. No, you don't get a, you don't get to take offense at, <laughs> like... Angels being Why better you? than you. It's just sense? fact. JJ, do you even want to be an LB at SMU? I mean, it's a lot of acronyms to keep track of for stances. He doesn't know what he wants. He's 17. Hey, you need to shut your dumb mouth. You're probably the one that wrote that email. Okay, early theories about who killed the ref. Probably either that mom or another parent from one of these schools, or a coach, or his wife. I want to be in the CIA. Good luck. Oh, did not see that coming. The Culinary Institute of America. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 gang, gang. I want to be a pastry chef. Okay, if you must know, I see. I knew it. But you can't hold me. You don't have any evidence that I killed him. Poor JJ is permanently screwed. Destined to be a broken man because of his overbearing judgment. Okay, you can't mother. keep making these connections, like man. Person. Love like a normal person. <sighs> Bed's yours. I'll take the sofa, clean towels in the bathroom. But for you sake, don't use my loofah. That's gross. I've got you your own. What exactly? He changed his mind. I think it's time that you and I worked on our relationship so that I may have a relationship. Okay. Fun. Yeah, fun. Sleepovers. 
have used that same police shot 800 times in this show. <laughs> Every single episode. Maybe if you work hard enough, you might one day rise to this man's level. Or you can maybe get one of these. Ooh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who are you? <sighs> Dan, this is my dad. <laughs> yeah, big man. Dan's like, cool. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, hello, uh, hello, hello uh, uh, Mr. Your uh, hi, hi, Highness, your, your holy. I am uh, de <laughs> Daniel, detec Detective Daniel Espinosa. Nice to meet you. It's, uh, it's, it's real nice, buddy. It's so nice <laughs> to meet you. I love the character arc that Daniel Espinosa has gone on over the course of this series. I believe you met my wife. From, ooh, yeah, total butthole to <laughs> sleeping with his wife to now <laughs> just... <laughs> what? You don't... How dare you? I, I don't want him. Yeah, well, you do. he's got a motorcycle. Yeah, well, motorcycles are unsafe. Hey. I'm just being me, perfect the way I am. Mm, you're leaning a little too hard into it. Say that you're bad. Oh, she freed him. The joy they had found. The head nurse spoke up. She said, leave this one alone. She could tell That's right a lot of that I was physical grabbing there, the boys. <laughs> Maybe he's up there, Tonto. Yeah, transition and no scrub, so I love it. I kind of wish they would have wrote original songs for this instead of just using real songs, but you know, it's fine. He doesn't like the coffee. I didn't say that. I didn't say anything. You spat it in the garbage. See, this is how it's always been with him. A subtle raised eyebrow, then straight to raining cross. Spits it in the garbage. Come with me. Therapy. Let's go. Brings her the coffee. Okay. 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 Fine. Okay. He comes down here Whatever. judging every little thing, which is ironic because he made every little thing. Made all of us in and then he criticizes us for not measuring up. So Photoshop yourself is prepared. Te uh, theologically, technically, he didn't make everyone imperfect. Uh, he made everyone, and then due to uh, Adam and Eve in the garden, we fell uh, from that position, <laughs> and that's why we have sin. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's baritone tennis split, and I can't help okay. myself if the music starts. Okay. You know that, and that's why you're okay. doing Time it. Time out. Time out. Doing it. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> that's why you're doing it. You're able to fly. Live forever. Whoop de do. She doesn't care about none of that crap. You've had millennia to evolve beyond all the petty squabbles that we have down here on Earth. And yet, you haven't. You're basically just like all of us. I mean, maybe even worse. If you consider okay, all the well, time. Now she's interjecting her own little fights with Menadiel. <laughs> interjecting her, her own thing a little bit, but you know. You smell what I'm cooking? You smell what the rock is cooking? What a lovely, sweaty room you brought me to, Lucifer. Why do they got weights in the locker room? It's gonna be better. I'm just happy to be here with my boy. Having some affirming reception. Not where it happens. This is a high school. What? They gotta they gotta have nice. the weight room in a place where both male and female Please. athletes can access it. You know? I wanna be tackled by a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. That's weird. Why? Why? I'll go to pay him off? He acts like he doesn't know what I'm talking about. 
Is his wife? So he killed the pious bastard to shut him up. The wife? Did something. Solving crimes like a real detective. Where's this truck? I think he just needs a healthy mix of all the ways he's been treating him. You know, take it moment by moment. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just wondering, um, was the goddess ever inhabiting Charlotte's body while I was inhabiting Charlotte's body? You see, I prefer not. Yes. To yes, indeed. But I do believe that there was some, uh, some crossover. Overlap? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> and when the Bible says that your dad is a, uh, jealous... God, is that like uh, a literal thing? I mean, I mean, surely he's way above all those petty human foibles and feelings, right? You know, like he's gonna um, kill you, Dan. Or... Such a lively place you have, right? That's it. This bloody celestial karaoke jam. It has to stop. All credits. Holy naked. Dead boundaries. Oh, please. You think this is the first time I've seen you naked? Okay. Also, you're sleeping naked in the living room <laughs> while someone's staying with you. Just the two of us. Four more right there. It's a party now. Yeah, for the first time the doctor placed you in my arms. I knew I'd meet death before I let you meet harm. Although questions arose in my mind, would I be man enough against wrong? Choose right and be standing up on the hospital that very first night. Interesting that they make uh, the black guy rap, but we'll move past that for now. Just the three of us. Just the three of us. Wow, three of us now. He misses his family. 20 years. <laughs> Never gonna change. No matter what I did, I had to get out. Please. So she killed him. Please, I, I was right. I don't think so. <laughs> She's like, oh my god. People don't change, and I'm afraid dear old dad isn't going to either. Yes, but it's only been one day. And every day before that since the beginning of time. No, yeah, but you've only been working at it one day. I may be too far gone. No. Wrong. They have had a cute relationship. They've been through a lot, that's for sure. I wish I could go back and change. But I had a life here. I had a good thing. Because for the first time in my long, hopeless life, I, I, I felt something. And then you just turn up and you, 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 you ruin it. You throw it all away. Why? I dreamed a dream. Time's gone by. This is a good time. When hope was high, when life was living. But the tigers come at I dream she'll come. 
come to me that we will live the years together Deep stuff, man. Heavy stuff. My son, the life ring. So full of life that it blinds even you sometimes. What does that mean? That I cannot fix you, Lucifer. But oh God. You don't need fixing, man. Just like you told Maze. Because I'm not sure I can. What does that mean? My powers, son. I can't control them? I think I'm losing control of them. Dad? Oof, wow. Hefty way to end that one. Frick, dude. What does that mean? What? What is God losing his powers? Or mean? what does that? What does that mean? Like, is someone trying to? Like, is someone taking his powers like from a different place? Like, what? What's going on? Is he just like getting old? And is that like? Is this like a metaphor for like Alzheimer's or dementia or like what? What it? You know. Because when old people get old, you know, sometimes their body doesn't work like it wants to and, you know, don't have full control over everything. Is that what's happening here? Um, just in, powers wise, um, I liked the vulnerable moment there at the end between the two of them. Um, yeah, let's talk about the case of the week. Uh, ref dies. Could have been anyone. Turns out it was the wife. I kind of guessed maybe at, at the beginning that it was the wife or a, or a coach of another team. Um, but I didn't, I wasn't sure. And then I kind of flip-flopped later where I was like, I don't know. Um, interesting that two episodes in a row, the killer has been the spouse of the other person. Um, maybe that's a metaphor in and of itself for whatever's going on with Lucifer and Chloe. Who knows? Um... But there's musical moments throughout this episode. Some of them felt necessary and moved the story along. Others just felt, you know, unnecessary. Uh, we get one Lucifer singing about how he loves Chloe and wants to love her. And it's just like, yeah, dude, you love her. Um, at the football game, when they're singing Another One Bites the Dust, that one felt unnecessary. Just felt like they were singing a song to sing a song. And, you know, those are the times that I don't really enjoy the musical aspects, especially since they didn't write original songs or anything, which granted would have been a hefty task for the, the team to, to write brand new songs and make this like an actual musical episode. Instead, it was just like they broke into song throughout. Um, Chloe calls out God to his face and is like, dude, you suck. <laughs> Like, you're kind of the worst. Um, you know, you you come and you everything, nothing's good enough for you. Everything's wrong. Like, you, you've made this guy's life hell. And he's just like, ah, awkward. Um, and then she wants to talk about the fact that she was made as a gift. But they kind of, like, brush past that. I feel like that would be a pretty hefty conversation for her to have. I mean... Lucifer is not the only one that should get to have these uh, character-defining question conversations with God. Um, Amenadiel, he's initially disappointed about his son just being mortal. Because, one, he thinks angels are better. And they are. 
let's be let's be real um you know within the context of this story the angels are are just as petty and and feeling as as humans are but like in actual real life they would not be even remotely interested in any of this petty stuff um so that, that angels they are way better like they can fl they can fly they got super strength they all have each individual like magic powers that they got it's pretty dope uh, but he's disappointed that his son is not special and initially it looks like that's gonna like lead him down a path of being disappointed in his kids kind of like um how god in this story is uh towards his children like they weren't all what he thought they would be i guess um but then Amenadiel later sings with Linda after she kind of freaks out about things in therapy. He sings with her and he, I think he comes to the realization after talking with Dan of like, you know, we're just the same as you guys, you know, I should be a dad <laughs> and love my kid. And yeah, and that's what happens. Um, and there's there's so many parallels throughout the episode. Every character they talk to and interact with has some parallel situation to what's going on between Lucifer and his dad. And it's just like, okay, how on the nose can we be here? But it's still enjoyable. Um, Dan, Dan meets God and God points out, hey man, you slept with my wife. <laughs> Granted, we were on a break. We were on a break. Uh, they were on a break. God and his wife were on a break, and Dan Dan went to Smash Town, Smash City, population him and God's wife. Um, and God's a little little jealous, uh, and Dan's freaking out. He's like, "I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get murdered by God because <laughs> he's jealous." Uh, Ella, she's trying to avoid the bad boys because she just dated a serial killer. Makes sense. Uh, Maze, she's fully leaning into the, like, I made you perfect stuff. So, like, she's going to be like, I'm bad. Like, I was made to be bad. I'm just I'm going to be bad. It's like, all right, chill, Maze. There's tons of, like, tons of very inappropriate touching in that song. Like, dude's just grabbing her butt and spanking her and, like, grabbing her boots. And he's like, all right, you need to ease up there, backup dancers. <laughs> this is a family-friendly show. <laughs> no, it's not at all. Um... But uh, with the therapy, you know, Lucifer doesn't feel supported by his father. But then God, he kind of takes that a, a step too far. And he's like, ooh, I'm going to be hecka supportive. I'm going to be so freaking supportive of my kid. And they, they lean into that trope for a little bit. And it's just like all of it is just so it's, it's so over the top. Uh, even the coffee thing, you know, Lucifer comments on it or he's like, comments on it after he's like every little small insignificant thing like it doesn't need to be this godly thing and then god's just like i got this from bolivia <laughs> from a farmer named jesus <laughs> it's just like you know he's god being god that's just the way it goes um you know what else can you expect in this situation and then another parallel at the end where the wife, the chemistry wife, is like, you know, he's never going to change. I had to get out. And it's just like, everyone keeps saying the wrong things to Lucifer to make him feel certain ways about things. He's so, he's so wishy-washy when it comes to how he feels about stuff. Because it's like, if, if this character in the show had been like, oh, like, we can work through everything's great. He'd be like, maybe I can work through it. And it's been one day of trying to work through it. And he's, like, already done. Um, and it's just, like, I think he needs to work a little bit harder, if I'm honest. Like, he doesn't, it's clear he doesn't necessarily, he wants to fix things, but he doesn't actually want to fix things. Because after one day of trying, he's just like, it's never going to happen. Um, you know, just give it time, Lucy. Give it time, brother. Um, yeah, and then they, they have a real nice vulnerable moment at the end lucifer sings about how his life is different than he hoped and dreamed it would be um you know probably probably thinking back even initially when he was created being like i had these dreams of what my life as an archangel would be 
and then I get thrust down out of heaven into hell and and now and then my dad leaves me alone for thousands of years and and now comes back and he's trying to judge me and fix things and it's like this is not what I wanted my life to be things suck I'm just I'm sad please fix me like I want to be able to to love and God's like I can't fix you um partly because one you're made perfect in his image like he's he's like I made you just the way you are but also like I can't <laughs> I don't think I'm capable of changing you at this point because I'm losing control of my powers and that that I think is the probably the biggest takeaway of this episode you know other than other than Lucifer you know the overall story progressing um I think if if you were to take single takeaways like single bullet point takeaways the biggest one from this episode is how they ended it with God is losing control of his powers because that could mean a lot of things um and it it could be happening for various reasons he could just be getting old but he's got like maybe he just needs to rest a little bit take a take a nap <laughs> power nap from God um or it could be Michael Michael maybe trying to take his powers somehow you know like uh, within the D this DC Comics universe of Lucifer, I don't think they've audibly established, you know, how, wh like, how does God have his powers? Because, um, uh, just like a parallel, kind of like, I believe in Marvel Comics, Thor and like the Asgardians, they draw their power from like people's belief in them. And it could be something similar here where, like, God's powers come from the, you know, belief that people have, whether that be the ordinary humans in that world, or it could be the celestial beings that he created, like, in heaven. So maybe now that, like, Michael is in heaven, he's trying to, like, curry favor with them and, and try and turn some of them away from God because he feels wronged and maybe he's going to try and like take over um and maybe that's why he's losing control of his powers but i'm not sure if he came here because he was losing his powers or, or what the deal is so the, a lot of possibilities there well i guess we'll find out eventually because <laughs> uh, what this is we got six episodes left of this season and then final season is next season so presumably, hopefully they can find a way to like wrap all this up satisfyingly, um, you know, and they don't go, they don't go the route of uh, Supernatural where they they create this big, big event, big, bad, like seemingly end of the show type thing. And then stuff happens and then they're like, all right, now we're going to extend this for five more seasons. <laughs> it's like, ah, come on. Like you got to neatly put a bow on it. Um, so hopefully they can, they can stick that landing but um overall i enjoyed this episode i did think you know i enjoy musicals um a lot i really like musicals um which makes me wish that they had written original songs for this and kind of made the whole thing a musical um but i also kind of liked that there were moments where it wasn't musical it was just like them talking and it you know, it played into the story of like, these are things that's happening. And it played into the end where he's like, I can't control this. Like, this is just happening. <laughs> um, but I do think some of the songs were unnecessary. And, you know, even though they did kind of fit with the scene that was happening, they didn't need to happen. Um, so overall, I'm still pretty pleased with this episode, but not my favorite. I mean, I like this one better than the noir episode though i think it was just overall more of a satisfying experience but i like seeing the characters actually talk to each other not just like argue for like a half second and then not come to the conclusion of that argument um i liked seeing that m vulnerable moment at the end where they truly say how they feel that was nice um I think that's all I got to say about this episode, though. Uh, let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. That means a lot to me, starting that conversation. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like on the video. It means even more. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more reactions to Lucifer. Ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you are interested in full-length reactions, head down to my Patreon. It is linked in the description. Um, 
If you do su decide to support me on Patreon, consider becoming a super supporter and you can get featured in my videos like this guy. Um, but otherwise, that's all I gotta say. So, thank you for watching. I love you. Catch you guys next time. Peace.